This part will show you how to add a motor to your animation or motion study. Begin by clicking on the motor icon. Then choose between a rotary motor or a linear motor. In this case, I'll pick the rotary motor. Then pick an edge that this rotates about. This red arrow shows you the direction it spins. You can flip it by clicking on this button. Next, you need to enter the speed. This can be constant or variable. There are a lot of options to pick from, from this list. Pick constant and choose 5 RPM. Click OK when you have done so. By default, this will last for 5 seconds. You can drag this across to determine how long the animation runs. Press play from start and SOLIDWORKS will calculate the animation. Right click on this thick bar for the motor and click off. This will turn the motor off. Right click at a different time and choose on. This can be used to turn the motor off and then back on. However, if you play it from the start, you'll notice that it doesn't actually turn off and then back on. Instead, the motor stays on throughout the duration of the animation. What you need to do is click on the calculate button. This will recalculate all the transitions and animations. And now you will notice that the motor does indeed go off and then turn back on. I hope you find this video helpful.